How to keep track of knitting needle size while swatching. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores, in the color Oxford Gray. So let's say that you are working on a project and you're getting ready to start and you want to do some gauge swatches using some different needle sizes. So this is all the same yarn, but we've used different needle sizes for each one. Um, this is like a little bit smaller needle. This is sort of what the yarn recommends here, and this is a size that's bigger than that. Well, the problem with this here is that I don't actually know what needle size I used for these swatches, especially since I did these swatches quite a while ago. So how do we fix that? Well, we could, you know, write a note and pin it on there, but that's a little bit less convenient and what happens if the note gets lost. Um, so I have a quick tip for you on how you can remember what needle size you did on your swatches when you're making them and you'll never lose them. So this is a swatch that we've done and the solution is to put these little eyelets at the edge of the swatch. Um, and you can do an eyelet for each number of the knitting needle. So um, this is not actually the case, but in this case we put five eyelets on here. Um, so uh, we would know that this swatch was knit with a size five needle. Now it was actually knit with a size 10 and a half, but this is just to illustrate the concept here. Uh, so this is a great way for you to be able to tell, okay, quickly, I know this is, was done with a five, uh, size five needle. So how do you do this? Well, let me show you real quick. I've got just an example swatch here, and uh, the way that you would add the eyelets in, if you've never done it before, I'm gonna just knit a couple stitches of a border here, is we do a yarn over, okay? So we'd bring the yarn over, and then we're gonna knit two together, all right? And this is, creates a basic eyelet. All right, so yarn over, knit two together. All right, so if that was a size two needle, then I would just stop right there. Yarn over, knit two together. Right? Yarn over, knit two together. Uh, so you'll just keep doing that for as many stitches as you, uh, for as many eyelets as would represent the size needle that you're working with. You could do this for metric as well. Um, and uh, you can't really do half eyelets. Um, so if, if you're testing a, a whole number against a half number, uh, then you might want to mark it some other way. So put maybe just uh, some, um, a different color yarn through the back of one or, or to tag it. So you know that, okay, this one was the half stitch as opposed to, um, uh, like a 10 as opposed to a 10 and a half, right? Now the reason why we do a yarn over and a knit two together is because the yarn over is actually an increased stitch that adds a stitch to our fabric. So we want to remove a stitch to balance it out. So we do a decrease with the knit two together so that we end up with the same number of stitches when we're done. Now let's say that your swatch doesn't have enough stitches for you to be able to make eyelets all the way across for your needle size, like say you're using a size 13 needle, um, you could do a couple different things. You could do them up the side, so just do a, an eyelet at the end of every, uh, every row or every other row, right? So on the front side. Or you could just do another row, right? So you'll do a row of eyelets, purl back, and then do another row of eyelets until you get the number that you need. So that's a quick and easy way for you to remember 
what needle size you were using on your swatches. And you can also use this just in a regular project if you're gonna take the needles off and put it on a stitch holder and come back to it later. You can just do a quick row of eyelets to remind you and then when you switch your needles back later, um, then you can just undo that row and you'll be back to where you began. So there you go, there's a quick little knitting tip for you today. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I wanna thank you so much for learning with us. And I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on.